Oh, we locked in? We rolling? We live, baby. We live. We good. Live. Everybody, everybody got their levels together. I got the headphones right. I got to figure out how I want to wear my headphones. Do you do the, the two headphones or you do the one headphone? Two. Oh, you, you, do, you double up? You do the two? two. I mean, I got to do the DJ yeah. thing. I might like I'm a DJ. <laughs> I had to hit the one headphone real quick, man. Yeah. You already know, man. Live from the lab. It's your boy Taz Crafted in the building. I got the homies here. Everybody want to like introduce themselves, jump in, jump out real quick? How we going to do it? Tony O. Well, they know who I am. We oh, got to okay. introduce the new the new co-host. Yeah. So you, you going to introduce New calls. Do you want me to introduce new calls? How we gonna do it? We didn't. We didn't have a pre pre plan for this. <laughs> how we gonna How we gonna introduce it? So we got we got a fellow Aggie. Yeah, Aggie pride. As okay, okay. Yeah, um, Black college spirit. I love it. Yeah. You know. Shout out Lena, man. Okay, how you doing? Boom, man? boom. In the building, Lena. In the building. Let's go live yeah. from the lab. You already know. Y'all can follow me on IG. Oh, Lena straight Amor, to the follow. L i n a a m o u r r. Yes. Chef Lena too. By the way, we got, we got new editors. Editors, throw that underneath the video real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and we got sound effects. It's up. It's up. We, yeah, we going crazy now. Yeah, we going let's crazy go. Now. Let's go. Let's hey, it. so we got to start it off right. You already know, man. I need some some good vibes, good energy, real quick, man. Antonio. A and R the lab real quick, man. With yeah. all the exclusives, all the all the new hotness, man. Like you, you got. Oh, I already know, man. Drop something real quick for him. Let's you know what go. Saying? This, this some unreleased from my boy Goop Gotti, man. Oh, that's a shout out, my cool. boy. He out there in the three three six holding it down. Oh, man. we we have look three, three, when he six. when he blow. Yeah, y'all just make sure y'all hear the hip. Oh, let's go. Right, let's go. Yeah. Well. Lucy came on with it, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. All luxury janks. Put niggas in position. Touch a hundred. That's how you show you love. I brought these niggas around to feed their moms. I show these niggas how to make it rain. Show these niggas trust. Boy, gotta feed your mama. Happy Mother's Day, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, man. I'm never standing on Ben Hoo and I'm shot my money. I see the city fucking up riches and bitches. I know better when the kid. Nigga better keep that top up on the swivel. He tryna come through my city. You know my chattel numbs. Back on the road on most runs. We sliding with a nigga by the scrolls. He be steady, boy. Brand new hand. Lost the grain in the back. Now I'm going in, little buddy. Had to fuck in, fuck into the other side. You must be dead, little buddy. Brought that. Man, yeah, you already know. Yeah, my boy slide on that good energy, good vibes, good people. Y'all tuning into the right podcast. It's all the way up right now. You locked in. We live from the lab, man. Y'all feeling it? Y'all, y'all rocking? All right, man. We in here. We rolling. Shout out, man. Man, what's my brother's name? What's bro name? Goop. 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 Got it. Goop. Got it. Boy, sliding on that one. GTI, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate the exclusive, man. Y'all already know how we get down. So we're going to go ahead and get rolling. First topic on the board, man. Y'all know the crazy. You know the craziest thing going on right now, man. Couldn't right. believe it when I saw it. I thought it was a replay. We we just talked about the last pod. We did. Was we it did. last pod we that we, we, we threw the reference in? Yeah, yeah. We man, did. We did. So, so you already seen how my boy John ja Morant got caught up, man. Not on his IG live, but the homie's IG live. <sighs> man, what what are y'all thoughts, man? How how y'all feel about it? Like, is it is it over for your boy? Is he gonna get another chance? Like, like how is it gonna rock out, man? What y'all think? Nah, I think he he definitely gonna get another chance, but he gotta realize that like, man, what I'm doing keep getting me in trouble. Yeah. Point, point blank, period. I mean, what he doing at the end of the day, if we being real, is not wrong, right? And what he's doing not illegal. Mm-hmm. He owns guns. He's of age to own weapons. Mm-hmm. He's in a state where he can carry legally. Yeah. So he's not doing nothing illegal. It's just you've already been caught up once and well, suspended I mean, for the same okay. thing. Okay, so sports, what's the main problem? Is it just the image of him being an NBA star and it don't look right? Yeah, so yeah. I was about to go into it. Like, it's legal. Like, he's not doing anything illegal, right? Right. right. The problem is when you work for somebody, right. the person that you work for has clauses within your contract mm-hmm. in which, like, you can't make it make them look bad. So it's like conduct detriment detriment like detrimental yeah. to the league. So like yeah. like you're doing things that, that are making us, you know, just just look bad. So if we're gonna pay you all this money mm-hmm. and we're gonna make you, you know, really they were about to make him the f- next face of the league. That's how right. I was looking. Right. And that's that's what I was gonna say. It's to the point now to where he's not only representing himself as Ja Morant, he's mm-hmm. also representing the National Basketball Association. Yeah, yeah, right. nah. So man, what y'all think about his friends? ones that were recording i mean you know obviously 
they they might not be the right people, but at the same time, I mean, you got you got to place the the onus on on the guy who is the the person that's in the position, right? So you know, even if you know those aren't the right guys to be around them, either you supposed to pull those guys up, or you got to let those guys go because those guys aren't the ones that was blessed with the talent, blessed with the you know opportunity to be in the position that he's in. So you know, you really can't put the onus on them. I mean, even so, man, your your boy that had the camera on his live, like he tried to put it down, like yeah, he he yeah. saw Ja put the gun, he was like, Ja, what, what are you doing? And Ja was like, Nah, man, like show him I got the hammer. Like, so it, you really got to put either the onus on Ja or, I mean, my thing is, man, ain't no more OGs. Yeah. Like you think, that? You think Ja need to, like, become a little but, more humble? Nah, I wouldn't even say that. I would say to the point you was kind of hitting Taz, it's like, Ja didn't even grow up like that. You know what I'm saying? So the same point that we was kind of hitting in episode two, I think, when we was talking about, you know, listening to the music mm-hmm. and feeling like you got to live that life. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I feel like something's going on in his head to where he feels like he has to prove that he's a a gangster or a tough guy mm-hmm. or he'll use that bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but why, you feel why, me though? He, he can't afford bigger guns. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey, no, look. I'm just saying, like, like man, to, like to every, def- every time defense. I see John Moran, it, the gun gets smaller every time. Nah, like, nah, this nah, one was smaller than the last nah, one. Nah, 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 it won't. It, it was won't. a little bigger. To, it was a little, to his defense, I think this one was a Glock pause. Oh. It was a Glock. Hey, buddy, got a Glock. Boy, if I'm a multi-millionaire, you don't want to notice that. Man, first of all, like, put it with security, bro. Like, he need to listen to different music, man. And I... I give you one. Thing. I can't blame it on the music. Though. The, the one I thing really I can't blame thing. it on the music. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you what I blame it on. And this is the one thing I don't hear anybody saying, and I'm gonna I'm just say it. You know, we got to look at it. It could be the possibility that Ja Morant is an alcoholic, guys. Like, if you really look at his Instagram and you really look at the way my man parties, and like, man, I'm, I'm I've been in the entertainment industry for a long time. I've been around a lot of functional alcoholics that can. I mean, let's face it, Jordan we used to play. Toot it up every night. So, I mean, like, if you really look at the way my man parties, like, first of all, a lot of guys in the league party harder during the season than they do not during the season because they're actually traveling around to these cities. Like, you're not traveling around to the the cities that you travel around to during the season. Like, you hit Miami, New York, Atlanta, Cali, a couple different times, Texas, Houston. Like, you, you really are going to the cities. And it surprised me the way my man was going out after the games. Like, that was after the game on the first incident. So, like, you really might have to look because it may it doesn't add up. At, at this point, it has to be it has to be something that's causing my man to make bad decisions. I really think part of it is, like, the fame and the success. Like, he's at a point where he's making so much money more than he's ever made in his life. He feels like he's somewhat untouchable, and he could get away with certain stuff. I think a part of it is that. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that definitely is a part of it. It definitely is, is in the mix with it. And, you know, at the end of the day, who's to say how we how we would act at that age, too? Like 22, was he 22, right. 23 with, with 80 million, 100 million up, 100 that, M's? Yeah. And that's that's another point besides the money that he got, right? Uh huh. I think he worth, I think he's guaranteed, like, some crazy shit. He signed, like, a multi-100 million dollar deal. That's what deal. I'm saying. Yeah, he yeah. feel like yeah. he's untouchable. He could get away But with besides the money, though, it's like, we all, I know me for sure, like, but I feel like a lot of men too, when we that age, we go through that phase to where like we try and be something that we not. Mm-hmm. Or you just try to adapt to the company that you keep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you hanging around some dudes who from the streets, from mm-hmm. the struggle, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get involved in some bullshit that you never should have been involved in. That's facts. That's you know facts. I mean? that, that, so. That'll get you caught up every single time, man. And if you look at the background of that video, John Morant was in a place that, like, you shouldn't be as a millionaire. Like, right. if you got two commas to your name, like, you shouldn't have that background. Like, you should never be. What was the background looking like? I mean, just not a not a good not a good place. Like, I, I, I wouldn't go there. And I'm not at two commas yet. But, like, I, I wouldn't be there. I mean, just. Man, like, it's no reason to put yourself in certain situations. Like, I'm a probability type person, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, when you get yourself, number one, like, it's hard enough to make the money. But once you make the money, it's it's quite honestly even harder to keep the money. So you got to have that discipline and that discernment. Like, I keep telling youngins, like, man, it's about discernment. Like, that's the biggest word that you can have. Like, when you you get something, when you have something to lose, like, 
you truthfully can only have people around you that also have something to lose. Mm-hmm. Like, if you got people around you that they don't have nothing to lose, then, man, like, it's going to run into a problem at the end of the day. So, you know, like, that's, that's how it rolls, you know? Yeah, facts. So, since we on the, the job topic, let's mm-hmm. kind of spin it a little bit, right? Okay. Where are we going? This this been a hot topic. I too, see spin it, spin like. move. Oh, okay, working on the transitions. There you go, Tony. Oh, you know what I mean, I'm up, I'm up here Ooh. with it, man. I'm up here. What we say? It's we a breaking the third wall. I'm in the so cerebral. Man. With it. It. Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, let's let's talk about this snitching topic, right? Oh yeah. So, okay. Shout out, shout out, my family. He sent me. He said, "Is snitching becoming acceptable?" I think How y'all feel about that? Uh, you 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 how you feeling? You wanna go? You wanna rock out first? Um, look, the only person who I really feel like it's acceptable for is Boston Richie, cause I love him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my Not god! Not Nick Creaky. <laughs> Not <laughs> Boston Richie, cool, cause but his music's so hard. But besides <laughs> that, no snitching is not acceptable. But Boston Richie gets a pass. Yeah. Why? Why do we get a pass? Because he's so he too hard. No. He too hard. No, he too hard. So yeah. he nah. Nah. But no. Okay. Okay. It's, no. You know what? No. Snitching is really not. It's not acceptable. I can appreciate you separate the art from the artist. Yeah. Like I can. I can dig yeah. that. So, All so honesty, you can. You can say like, it's not acceptable. Art is it, dope. But his music is hard. I'll say it like that. I can rock with his art, but I him. can rock with it. You know the music hard. I was listening to him on the way here. <laughs> yeah. And listening to him while I was at work. What does what does music make you feel like though? Mm. I gotta check out Bo- Boston Richie. Yeah, is he from Boston? I don't even think so. <laughs> <laughs> I would be. I mean, mean, I'm just saying. I mean, Back to the topic on snitching. I really don't think uh, snitching is not acceptable. Yeah, I mean, it's really I, not. Look, man, we gotta. Especially if you in the streets, you a rapper, you trapping, you scamming, like you know what you signed up for, and it just you look real hypocritical, like. You shouldn't be snitching. Like, that's just off limits. Yeah, no, nah, I thought well. I mean, okay. We really have to define snitching, though. Like, we got to define it. I mean, because I think it's a we, it's an easy definition. Though. Yeah. Okay. But go ahead. Now, because to, to me, like, originally where snitching comes from, right, is if I'm doing something right, or we, we doing something together. It's me and you. We do we do this together. We whoop de whoop everything. Something go left. I get caught up. You don't get caught up. I tell the people about you. Like, to me, that's always yeah. been what, like, it's not a civilian or somebody right. that has a situation going on or, like, you know what I mean? Sometimes it might be smarter, like, we got to call the police, man. Like, like is that's, that's a part of, like, like, police reports have to be made. If you look at, like, the QCP situation, like, like police reports have to be made. Like, it's just a part of procedure when it's in the court of law, right? right. So, like, a lot of times, like, the way people are, like, saying is snitching is not particularly like it's just people talking to the police like i think it's completely different if you have a situation or a scenario in which i did some dirt with you and then i go you know what i'm saying i i make sure that you're implicated along with me rather than you know like we we kind of broaden this whole culture to like across the board like nobody should ever talk to the police whatsoever never in any fashion form no way no how if you say anything to the police at any time like if i ever run into a police officer telling to have a nice day oh taz is a snitch because he told the police officer like it's, it's gotten crazy yeah, like like it. the level to which that we've gone to with like what it is like yeah. i mean how gangster we gonna be like yeah, yeah. i feel like that that the people who say shit like that are like trying to be something that they not. Mm-hmm. Cause like people who really live yeah. like that, they yeah. know the difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Snitching is if you out here and you living like that, you are committing crimes. You know what I'm saying? You know that what you're doing is illegal and you completely understand the consequences of your actions. Mm-hmm. Then if you get caught up and you go in there and tell, that's snitching. Point blank, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If Joe Blow over there see you kill somebody and he tell the police what you look like, that's not that's snitching. That's being a civilian. And Simple that. as that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that person is not living like that. Mm-hmm. Me, or vice versa. If we scamming, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever. So, so how you feel about, like, the Q, did you see how, like, the QCP situation was? Like, where his brother 
basically got shot and killed. He went and, like, returned fire on the guy that, like, shot at his brother. Then the police questioned him, and he said, like, this is what dude looked like. I don't feel like that's snitching. All right. Thin line. I mean, that man what killed he, his what brother. He, what he tell if he went in and shot back at the people who killed his brother? What he telling the police? They look what he, what they look like. What he he not trying to find them no more. I mean, it could be a situation in which like y'all better be find find them before I do. Like just because you 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 know what I'm saying tell the police what what the man look like doesn't mean you ain't gonna handle it your own way. At the end of the day, True. like it does it doesn't preempt that per se. True. But I feel like if you already went after the dude, right? You already then shot back at him. That means self defense. That means you want him dead. Oh, it, it happened in the same time period. Like he yeah, 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 it happened the same the, at oh, the same okay. instant. So oh, okay, like okay. he had to stay and like you know what I'm saying. I thought like, like he went back the next day. Mm-mm, nah, nah, like he shot shot this way, shot back. Like oh, same, okay. same time, same time. Right, like, that's different. So I mean, you know, like he sometimes, bro, you just in a predicament where like look, like hey. Certain statements have to made just to keep the heat as low as possible. Cause like a lot, you're gonna look even crazier talking about some like, nah, bro, I ain't I, nothing. No, no, I don't talk to cops. No, why? Why don't you talk to cops? Now I got like, a question. Like, you know what I mean? So like, if it was a sense in like you and somebody else, mm-hmm. and they trying to give you like 30, 40 years for a crime that you didn't even do. Damn, you went to the roof with the time, right. didn't you? The extreme. All right, Jeez. 20, 20, 30 years, what 15 years. years. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do, Tonyo? I did something crazy. Damn. You definitely oh called Jeffrey a Jeffrey Dahmer, boy. Oh my God. <laughs> boy, I went cornflakes. I'm just cereal. Saying, no. I went crazy. I went white boy. Okay. All right. So, yeah. All right. Give me 30. All right. No. Forget the 30. All right. 10, 15, 20 years. You Mm -hmm. got kids. You got family. Mm -hmm. Sure do. You going to snitch, especially if you know you didn't do it, or you going to be one of them people that be like, oh, no, I'm not talking to the police. I'm not snitching. I'm not not saying nothing. No. How would you handle that situation? If I did something and, like, I've I've already, you know, I'm, I'm a risk assessment type person, right? So, like, before I do anything, I've already assessed the risk. I've already, accept, you know, assessed, like, what's the worst-case scenario. If that was the worst-case scenario, you know what I'm saying? I got to go sit down. I already know whatever I'm doing, I'm going to do it with people that if I hold it down, they're going to hold me down, too. You know what I'm saying? So, so if I got to go sit down for a little bit, I know at the end of the day I would never do nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. It didn't have a crazy enough upside. You wouldn't put that, yourself in those situations like that? Nah, nah, you? whatever whatever I was doing, whatever, it's going to be worth it. It was worth it. So if okay. I got to go sit down, it may be worth it. Because, you know, we ain't going to – why mess everybody up? Because whatever right. I do, I do with right. family. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. either by myself or with family. So, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Family going to hold it down. What about like, you, got to. Damn. Got a, a baby a at clip. home. A 30. I mean, to Taz's point, right, I know me personally, like, if I'm in the interrogation room, I'm being held um, by the law, right, I know that it's for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done did some shit that I done thought about on my own. I knew what the consequences were, so I'm going to deal with it. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm – I'm sitting down by myself. Like, I'm not bringing nobody else with me because at that point, like, I'm avoiding jail at all costs. Like, I'm not out here living like that anyway. So, like, if it come to that point where I know I, I'm i about to sit for a minute, it was for a good reason. Like Taz said, so it mm-hmm. is what it that's is. That's what I had to point. do. I had to do You know that. what I mean? Like, that, and that's just what it is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, real quick, 6 9 like, he was wrong for all that, right? Man, they was wrong for involving that little boy in their shenanigans, man. What are y'all right. doing with him? What, right. is, what was he doing with that little guy, man? Like, I feel bad for 6 9 like, 6 9 you know, is a perfect example of what you don't want to do out here. Yeah, yeah, man. For sure. Hey, stay out the way. Hey, man, so we rocking out real cool. We about to take a little break on the one two. You know what I'm saying? Get back to this. Y'all lock in live from the lab. Let's go. Yeah. Right, right. 
Yo, yo. Okay. Oh, hey. We in here now. Back. We in here now. Now we live from the lab. We back, man. Big we live back. from the lab. You already know. We back. We back. We back. Who's this? It's D Baby. Yeah, D Baby. I like this. Yeah. Oh, let it rock down. Shining with no lights on. You already know we live in the lab right now. We got the bar wide open. Make sure you tip my bartenders. We going crazy right now. What's up? Come on. Let's go. Good day. <laughs> it's a good day, man. It's a good day. Like it's running late. We hope y'all had a good day. We hope you made today great. And if you didn't make today great, we hope you make tomorrow great, man. It's live from the lab. You know how we get down. It's in the building right now, man. We chilling. That was my boy D Baby. What's that record called, man? I like that. Good day. Good day. It's a D good Baby. Day. Good day. And he oh, named Apple? it appropriately. On Apple Music. Who is that? He live in Charlotte? Nah, he, he from um, Texas, I think. That shit hard. <laughs> I was going to ask if he was from the D. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. Uh. Pause, police. <laughs> Tony, uh. Man. Yeah, hey, you know what hey so we was on, talking bro. outside, man. Y'all was hipping me to what was going on, what was popping in the news, everything rocking, man. What is going on with Gabrielle Union, guys, man? Like, what, uh, what's the. Boy. What's the. What's, <laughs> how, how they say it? What's the T? All right, so I'm going I'm to read it to you. It says. Oh, God. Gabrielle Union uh-huh. says she fears if movie she's in get gets canceled, she won't be able to pay the bills because her and D Wade go fifty fifty on everything. Half, <laughs> Half. on that on ass. everything on everything. But you also know that in her previous relationship. Mm-hmm. She was taking care of all, all of the bills. bills. Okay, okay, okay. All of the bills. Right, right, she right. She was right. okay with cheating because she knew she was paying all the bills. Oh, that's flagrant. Yeah. Oh, oh I see what's it. going let's on here. Yeah. Let's get into they it. They from a different so, planet than me. what you're telling me is if D-Wade pays all the bills... She gonna be cheating on him. No, he can cheat. No, he got no. the. He well, got oh yeah, the my bad, my bad. That's what I meant to say. To, I'm sorry, my little so, shot so, getting so, Oh wow! All right, well, I, he I, gonna be cheating. He gonna be doing all the cheating. Man, that's yeah. crazy. I guess I'd be nervous too. She better uh, get get another one. acting role. I guess. I just feel like all that is bullshit. Like y'all got <laughs> millions. What the yeah. fuck you mean you gonna be nervous if you can't pay the bills? Yeah. Like I just feel like. I mean, it, it, might, it might come down to principle, though. Do they have so many bills that she feel like D-Wade can step up if nah. her income declines? Nah, it, it, it's genuinely, it has to be off principle at this point. I mean, at some point, like, you get to, a, a, you know what I'm saying, amount of money where it's not like we have to split the bills. Like, we're splitting the bills off of principle. Like, this is what we do in our relationship. Like, now, if y'all were in a married relationship, uh-huh. would y'all split 50-50 with y'all wife? How would you handle that? Because nah. I feel like... I want to make the rules. Oh. I want to run. I want to run stuff. You want to run shit? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Cost to be nah, the boss. I'm not, I'm not splitting go. the bills, but. I mean, if you want to put it like, in on a little Are song. you going to pay all the bills? Yeah, I'll pay all the bills, <laughs> but like car note, if she got a car note, take care of that. Okay. And your insurance part, at least. Now, I and do have sure, a question. Make mm-hmm. sure that the, the refrigerator stop. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Laundry, you know, done. Oh, yeah, clean, all that, all that. Food cook. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I do have a question, though, because this one dude, like, he had basically approached me, and mind you, he's like our age, and he went to school with us. Ooh, I'm saying too much right now. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> let me rewind back. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> all right, long Why don't story you just short. Give it social? Long story short, he basically said, like, he's married and he pay all the bills so he could do what he want. And, mm. you know, he feel like, I mean, if if they got that arrangement, I think the only time that it's an issue, right, is, like, cheating is lying. Like, it's not the act of being with another person. It's the act of being deceptive. So, like, if him and his wife got that arrangement, that's what they worked out. Like, babe, you pay all the bills. Whatever you want to go rock out and do, that's what you do. And that's how their relationship works. That's how it works. Now, if y'all were a married man, like, 
would you feel like, okay, I'm paying majority of the bills, all the bills, I could do what I want, I could cheat on my wife, I could talk to other females just because you're technically paying all the bills? Or would you still be loyal to your wife? No, nah, it's, a, it's a benevolent dictatorship. Like, at the end of the day, like, I need to do what's best for our relationship, right? Okay. And especially in today's day and time, man, like, ain't no, like, there's no room for that in terms of, like, bringing somebody else into a situation, into a relationship that's that's solid, that's whole, is, is for the most part, only going to add issues and, and extras going on in that relationship, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, it, it's, it's not about, per se, the fact that, like, oh, it can't be somebody else or something like that. It's the dynamic of our relationship, our family, how we need to work together. Like it needs to be set up in the right way so that we can, you know, be successful. Like like right. like this right. this is about teamwork and us going to the top and like being successful and working together more than it's right. like about feelings and like, you know, like you get to a, a different level and you know, when you locking in with somebody that's like, look, man, like we gotta do this to to get to the top together. Like so what works for us works for us. Mm-hmm. And it might be different for other relationships. Like other relationships have different things that might go on, but I mean, from my experience, man, like, nah, ain't, ain't no room for no extras out here. Yeah, facts, man. I, I agree. I like, that. like, but like that. for for me, it's like, I don't need another woman, right? Because I'm disciplined. So it's like, if you have masculine energy, right? As a man, we all do, and of course, that masculine energy brings about wanting more than one woman, but. Being disciplined and understanding that you have to take that energy and put it into something else, Mm -hmm. right? Because at the end of the day, if you fulfill that energy that you're feeling when you see an attractive woman and you want to have sex with her, it's like you can do it, but then once you do it, what what do you get? Mm. Nah, facts. Because, I mean, let's let's be real about it. Like, when you're dealing with a guy that has, how do I put it? Sold his royal oats like he's lived his life like he didn't just get money he didn't just become cool he didn't just get access to women like he's been around enough situation where he figures out that like look life is about something much more deeper than just me getting my my rocks off at the end of the day right mm-hmm. like like you know you you get to a point where like it becomes empty and once you see it become yeah. empty like you really find out like look man I need to something deeper to really you know. Get me stimulated out here in life, so. I want to know, like, why, all right, it sounds like y'all, y'all mm-hmm. know y'all self as a man and what y'all want Got and don't to. want from a female. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sounds like, you know, y'all passed that phase of y'all life. But as far as a male perspective, why do guys make it so hard? Like, for example, if you got a good female that's on her shit, that's basically wifey material, why mm-hmm. not fuck with her, you know, strong, and and leave the hoes alone. A like, man, why is it so time, hard? A man's timing is a man's timing. Okay. Yeah, because like, like, they're not ready for that. Yet. Yeah, like a man's mm-hmm. timing is going to be his timing. That like his sense. His path in life, especially one that's going to be disciplined and one that's going to be in a position that you want him to be in, mm-hmm. he's going to know that, like, his timing is going to need to be on the right plane. I mean, I think at the end of the day, when we really look at it, like, we've been expecting a lot from young niggas. Like, you are not going to have your situation together until – 30, 35, like, it, it, it gets, like, like early 20s, in the 20s, like, first of all, you're still trying to figure out where you're going in life, like, what That's your career true. is going to be, how you're going to lock in with people, like, it, it's a it's a high expectation to expect a man at that age, especially the way that we have life set up now, because, I mean, we've, we've strung it out, we've made it longer in terms of, like, schooling, like, now you're going to college for four years, if you want to get a graduate degree, like, it moves everything back, and we live in longer, mm-hmm. so with that, like, it has to be a better expectation on younger guys. So, like, when he gets to a point that he's ready to to lock everything in, that's what he's going to do. And once he's locked in, he's going to be locked. The issue comes when a man lock in before he really ready to. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that's true. That when, when a man really can't, you know, be, be man enough to say, listen, I'm not ready for this type of yeah. commitment, this type of, let's face it, responsibility. Having a woman is a responsibility. Yeah. For that's sure. true. And I was going to hit the point of, like, at the same time, like, I feel like a lot of men have to experience a lot of shit first before they're ready to really settle down and commit themselves to one mm-hmm. woman, right? Because a lot of men think they're ready, but they still want to experience a lot of other women, mm-hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what you want until you experience a lot of women. And you understand the different qualities, the different traits that women have, 
right? So you have to experience different women to understand, okay, I like this mm -hmm. in a woman. I like my woman to do this. I like my woman to be this way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to go through those motions, and it's like, if you've been going through our life and, be, and you haven't really had those experiences, you're not going to be ready until you had those. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, let me ask y'all this, right? Do y'all do feel like women in particular are presenting themselves as wives? Nope. <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs> hit the hit the crickets, but I mean, let's let's face it, man. Like it's it's a new age. Like it's 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 the feminism wave. Like it's the 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 day of of the independent woman. Um, you know, like at the end of the day, I I respect equal rights for everybody. I'm I'm a laissez faire type person. I'm never the one to stand in anybody's way from anything that they want to accomplish in this world. So with that, you know, I think guys that look at it from my position say, hey, like you know. If that's what you guys want to accomplish in terms of, you know, standing up, being on your own, doing what you have to do, then it's going to be a different dynamic in terms of a relationship. Okay, now that's kind of broad, Tony, because <laughs> it's different ways, like, a woman <laughs> could not represent themselves, mm -hmm. you know. So are you saying, like, social media-wise, like, how they present themselves on IG, if they go into the club, um, if they're overly independent, like, what in your definition are you saying, like, a woman does not present herself? You know, like that. If she can be a mother, if oh. she can take care of the family, I mean, it's, it, it, be responsible. It, it might be broad, but it's still the overall in the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like yeah. it's not. I'm not digging that deep into like social media because social media is what it is at the end of the day. Well, it's a reflection right? of you. It's a reflection of you. Somewhat. Like, do you have the qualities? Because at the end of the day, right? Women are very vocal about men. Yeah. And, and vice versa about being a husband, right? So it's like, do you see yourself as a wife? Or are you portraying those qualities of a wife, right? Go back to any wife that you know that's within your reach, maybe your grandma or your mother if your parents are still married, right? The things that she does for her husband, the way she carries herself, you know what I'm saying? They just, current news, they just was talking about Savannah Jones for being so low-key. Like, they was kind of getting on her talking about, like, why she ain't done really tried to oh, LeBron branch off and become yeah. her own, like, Cause I'm LeBron. Uh, So, so compare Savannah to, like, Stephen Curry's wife. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, because, I mean. Stephen Curry. <laughs> Stephen. 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 Curry. Steve. <laughs> Steve Curry. <laughs> That's is what he I mean. is he the third brother? Does he have a jump shot too? I know I know Steven can shoot. I'm sorry. I know I know Steven. Steven, Steven got know a day. Hey, he oh must he, he, tore, he tore his ACL in high school yeah, and like he just ain't make it to the league. For but sure. Steven Steven got Steven had the best jump shot out of the whole out of the whole Curry family. I heard that. Yeah, I heard yeah, that. yeah. I was talking to Dale. That's what Dale told All right, me. Hey, stop fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but you talk you talk about Aisha. Yes, I mean, I ain't, her. I ain't gonna hold you, man. She she kinda, she she don't get the same attention, and she felt. I feel like no. Nah, I, like, I don't get that, man. I don't get that. So you you feel like if you married someone who was a celebrity, a superstar, you feel like you should build your own brand as well. <sighs> Not necessarily. Yes and no. Like I would, I would be like a Savannah. Like I would be like how she is. But I mean, with all that, yeah, I would kind of capitalize, build my own brand. I would make, I would build my own business or something. Why though? What you mean, why though? Do you not? Do you not? I could still, I could still be a mom, a wife, and have my own business and make my own money. Uh, all right. So, so, so specifically, day, specifically in LeBron's case, where his last name is a brand, he set his family up. I wouldn't, no. If, I, if it was like that, no, I wouldn't really have to. No, no, no. I'll be like Savannah. I'll be a, a, a whole-time like like mother. What, what brand are we going to set up that's going to match a billion? 
You're right. I mean, uh, it don't a, hurt, a, though. We, it's we not a crime. A, we, we, no. It, it, we, it's only but so many hours in a day. It's only but so many things that we can focus on. But I'm going to take care of the like, house. Hold on, hold on. So, so let's, yes, let's dance. Yes, Regardless, yes, you are. Let's I'm going to take care of the kids. Are. Sure are. I'm going to be a, a wife. Dollars. You're going to take care of the house. For sure. Let's, let's dig into this because you kind of alluded to it in the beginning. Even if, say, he's not a billionaire, but he's up, though. Mm-hmm. Seven-figure nigga. Mm-hmm. Why do you still feel like you should build your own brand? I just at least want to have something for myself as a woman. Like, and speaking for myself, I'm, like, fully independent. So I'm used to doing for myself and doing, having my own. I'm not fully just necessarily just going to be like, oh, I'm just fully depending on my husband. Yeah, I don't have to lift the finger and work if I'm Savannah, if I'm Savannah James. But Mm -hmm. still, like, if I have the, if I have, you know, the lead way to still have something for myself, I'll do that. What's wrong with that? at one point, at what point? Does I don't the, have to, but I'm just they saying. Like four, they got like four kids. Uh, it's 24 check, hours in a day. Check this out, though. So at what point does the independent woman stigma become beneficial? Right? How because you, if, you're you so, if you're so focused on being an independent woman, how can you fully live in your feminine energy and be a wife? I would still be in my feminine area and be a wife. However, like, for example, going back to Savannah, if she wanted to have a little lip gloss line, she could do that. Okay, she so don't even have to run it herself. You she want a hobby. That's it. That's you what I'm hobby. basically saying. You want, you want a hobby. Just okay. something. Like, well, that's it, all I'm it, saying. Call it a hobby. A call hobby. It a brand. Thank like, you. Like, it's, it's, that's a lot of work. Okay, bro. yeah, no, I don't like, need a brand. That's what I'm saying. I don't have to have a brand. But just something like, for myself, a little hobby, you know, that don't hurt. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Little yoga, little lip gloss, cool. That's but it. like it's it's you know I think is we have to look at it as like this it becomes a partnership right yeah. you can't be independent within a partnership like is that that that's an impossibility at the end of the day there has to be a yin to every yang so I like that. You, you know if you choose to get with this person a person of LeBron stature a person of even a seven even a guy that's making a hundred thousand dollars a year has a higher level of need than somebody that's not making that much money. Because, like, there's nowhere and in, in no, you know, like, if you're making however much money you're making, you're going to be spending more and more time in order to make that money. Nobody is able to make that money just by sitting down doing nothing. So the right. more time I allocate towards making the amount of money that I'm making, I'm going to need somebody to be my yang that's going to be able to allocate that time towards our family. Right. I'm not going to have time and to change. And that's perfectly fine. I'm just saying right. I would like to have a little hobby, something. Okay, there that's we go. It. Little that's hobby, it. for sure. Okay. Now, all right, so look, breaking breaking news, right? Okay. Oh God, um, what happened? Israel, the UFC fighter. I don't want to butcher. Wait, hey, no, we Izzy. gonna go back to my topic real quick before we go today. Cause hold the fuck up. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> okay. Go ahead. What I wanted to ask y'all is, what I want to know is, would y'all do for a female that makes her own money and handles her own? Like, would you do for her off the strength or like? Would you wait till she acts? Because I feel like independent females, like, sometimes we don't get shit until, I mean, it takes, I feel like the females that acts, they always get shit if they want their bills paid. There's certain dudes out here that's going to do that. Not necessarily just speaking about bills in particular, but would you do for a female that's doing for herself? Would you do it off the strength? Or, like, what What will it be on, you know, God damn. <laughs> It's so, 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 <laughs> You so get what I'm saying? It, it, you oh get oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, so a girl that's independent that's already like yeah. doing her own thing. Like, would would you do the same thing for a girl that's not independent? I mean, I think it just depends yeah. on how she presents herself in the dynamic of our situation, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, if, if she's really presenting herself like. Listen, like, I don't need anything, and which a lot of women do, then by all means, like, we're going to rock out like that. But, you know, with any dynamic, man, like, look, like, my situation is my situation. So if you come up underneath the umbrella, like, it's just going to – I'm going to rock out how I'm already rocking out. For the most part, I'm going to have things already allocated. So whatever you want to take care of is what you want to take care of, and I'm just going to see how you move. You know what I'm saying? So, you know – I don't think a guy with money is really gonna be like too too worried about like yeah. like what are we talking about? Take like 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 the like this is my like you gonna move in with me? This is my house. So I'm gonna pay the you know the bill right. like right. you know like it's not a whole lot to think about somebody that's in a position in order to do something like that. Any guy that's making it like a big deal like that is it's not that position. Like you need to find a, a different dynamic. So 
Yeah, for sure. I feel the same way. It's like I'm not worried about what you're doing on your own. Mm-hmm. Because as a man, I believe that, like, I'm going to take care of you, I'm gonna provide um, protection, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not worried about what you're doing on your own. But we kind of talked about this in, I think, episode one, where it's like, all right, now, if we got two incomes coming mm-hmm. in the household, like, you're not just about to be fumbling the bag. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm taking it. care of everything, exactly. Yeah. Exactly we're going to invest, we're going to flip, like, we're going to make more. I mean, it's just a partnership. Let's roll. Yeah. Like, that, uh, and, and that's what it is. For sure. How you feel about it, though? Because you brought it up, Lena. How you, how you feel? I, I, I feel like you done dealt with some niggas who oh. kind of ain't. Fuck you know them niggas. niggas. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, it's just me and Mr. Benji. That's, that's it. <laughs> Hold on, go, go, go deep into it, though. Nah, I just, you know, I'm just, I just be focused on me and myself, and I I just be stacking, working. So, do you feel like if you start messing with a dude, right, and you got your own bag, and he's not really doing for you because you have your own bag, are you going to kind of sideline him? Of course. Oh. I mean, yeah. yeah. There it go. I'm, I'm too independent. There it go. There it go. Y'all heard it. <laughs> if, you, if you can't do the bare minimum, the bare minimum, you got to go. What I need you for? Man. I do everything myself. Car no paid, bills paid, credit great. No, I take care of myself. If you can't do the bare minimum, you can't bring none. What's none the bare the minimum? T- I mean, like, for example, my nails. If I ask for my nails... You know, one time, first of all, I'm not even the type of female to ask for shit. So if I ask you and you, it's a no, like, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. That makes sense. If you got food stamps and you got a food stamp card and I ask you to bring some girls, you want me to cook, (laughs) you want me to feed you, you want to come over my fucking house. What are you dealing with? What? (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, you you can't contribute to the groceries. all right, y'all. You can't it's, contribute it's, to the groceries. You it's can't live bring them up. We gonna we gonna holler at our sis Lena real quick. We gonna get on a different level. We gonna introduce us to the homeboys. It got a little better situation. Look, we'll I need somebody with some motion, <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> All motion, y'all already know, man. Live from the lab, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tony, you got anything for him, real quick, man? Nah, for sure. Just keep doing what y'all doing, man. Be disciplined out here. Let's go, man. The sermon be disciplined. Live from the lab. Stay crafty. Let's go. One. Peace. Peace.